Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a BMW guys 3 Series Generation F30, F31 that you see right here. This specifically is the 3 Series BMW from year 2013 to year 2019. If you guys have one of those, you need to find where the powertrain fuses are located. They'll be located in multiple fuse boxes. You have probably about 10 of them. Stay with us, we'll explain where you can expect to find them, where you can find cheap fuses, parts, tools, the good price, quick shipping. That way, do not wait your money and why it's important to test fuses and realize all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure you stay until the end so before we start let me tell you a little bit about us guys every single car that we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to fix pretty much anything engines transmissions bodywork why we do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can on this channel you will be able to find videos about every single fuse on that bmw relay let's say you're down the road uh, you're in the middle of nowhere and you blow a fuel injection fuse you need to see where it's located uh, we'll have the video on the channel you just search for one or two minutes look at the video replace it in your back on the road otherwise guys it's really confusing with these fuses that's why we are making these videos if you need to buy any tools uh, parts for your BMW uh, fuses realize at a really good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below we'll share it for your convenience so let's start on it now so now we'll demonstrate on a 2000 guys and uh, 13 BMW 3 series that we have right here even if you have a different year it will work as well now uh, you guys have up to six different fuse boxes today we'll be working on a few of them the first fuse box that we need is under the hood so if you open the hood guys right there okay uh, in front of the windshield on the passenger side and behind the shock tower you have one trim cover remove it you get to a fuse box once you guys remove that cover you will see a fuse box layout like this one before we guys continue uh, let's explain quickly why it's important to test fuses and relays so now why it's super important guys to test fuses and relays because often you may think you have a good fuse right but uh, it could be guys a bad fuse sometimes it's really hard to tell it's hard to see you have different kinds of fuses and each one of those guys it, let's say you think it's a good fuse but it's actually bad you may end up spending time money on parts and uh, repairs that you don't need so always test fuses it takes only uh, a few seconds we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses and how to test relays as well relays are easy to test uh, that way you can eliminate that possibility for something uh, that uh, that's not necessary guys so check out the links will be in the description of the video below so we'll be working in four different fuse boxes today now this one is the first one this is towards the windshield side the front of the bmw passenger side driver side we'll start right here first on top even if you have a missing fuse you count that spot you start with fuse 18 19 so fuse number 19 was the one that you need to check 21 23 then you need to check fuse 36 37 very important fuses then you need to check 43 then 44 45 46 47 after that guys we need to open the trunk on the bmw once you open it pull that cargo liner out where that arrow is underneath you have a fuse box the layout is just like this one here we'll need to check a few more fuses guys uh, specifically we're talking about fuse number 137 that 20 amp fuse right here that's 137 then we need to find fuse number 144 145 146 then we have two more fuse boxes guys let me show you one is right in front of the uh, uh, next to the shock tower on the driver's side this is the uh, power distribution box right here and here you have integrated one relay fuse on top and then five more fuses that fuse on top is one for the powertrain and the third one here it, it is as well now how you get to them it's a sealed box some people open it replace the fuse and seal it back together other just replace the whole assembly you have another one here as well okay that has uh, power train fuses integrated here as well so those are the hidden ones hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time